Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you never miss a new video when I drop it. So today's workout is going to be a stretch routine and I'm going to begin off by uh, stretching and just releasing the tensions in my muscles so that I can prepare my body, <laughs> so that I can go ahead and prepare my body for the stretch routine. I believe that stretching is important for everybody because as you know our muscles get weak as we grow old so we need to keep them uh, flexible we need to keep them fit so that we prevent diseases and injuries so let's go ahead and begin with neck stretches as you can see and go ahead and just relax by just giving yourself a nice good stretch as a warm-up so that your body awakens and prepares for the more intense stretches so just begin by uh, stretching up your hand so that you give yourself a good nice stretch to the sides of your body so that at least you get a good feel of what is coming up next and your body is ready for whatever exercise is coming up next so just prepare yourself and now we're gonna go ahead and stretch some more and while you're stretching enjoy yourself and you should be able to feel that stretch on the sides like all your hip area should really have and feel that nice stretch. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, stretch our triceps. Put your head over your, your hand over your head and just hold the other hand while you stretch out your triceps and of course biceps as well just go with the flow and relax your legs and your calves and the next exercise guys is gonna be a, I call it a spider squat you're just gonna spread your legs wide and just do a squat as if you are on a toilet <laughs> Just imagine as if you're on a squatting toilet but you're just doing a spider squat and if you're doing it right you should feel a very good stretch in your thigh muscles your your lower thighs should be really feeling that good stretch just hold it there for a while and then you can decide to just rock with it side by side just in a slow motion no rushing just rock with it Take a break and stretch out and rock with it while you enjoy yourself. We're going to repeat the same, of course. Your legs apart, stretch out first, drop down with your upper weight and stretch out those hands. You should be feeling a good, nice stretch in your back and your hip area as well as your thigh muscles, the back and front as well. Go ahead and open those legs and squat. Do that spider squat. You should be feeling a very good stretch in your hip area and in your lower thighs. Right there. Rock with it again, slowly. Take it in a slow motion. Getting yourself a good nice stretch in your calves. And of course in your lower thighs. Just stretch it out, enjoy yourself while you stretch out your back from the position and get up slowly guys don't forget that don't want to hurt yourself go back down and drop down with your head or your upper body legs apart and do some calf stretches relax and go ahead and put your legs wide apart with your hands holding on the opposite legs or the same legs I mean 
and just twist your hips as if you're gonna do a nice little twerking dance <laughs> if you know how to twerk but just so you know you should be feeling that nice little stretch in your hamstrings and in your thigh area just go ahead and rock your hips side by side ensuring that you keep a straight back as well it's very important and one big tip here is always listen to your body if you do something and you feel too much tension in your muscles please stop right there because that is one sign that you're putting too much pressure on your muscles so go ahead and change it up a little bit and hold your fo foot yes you should feel that nice stretch right there in your love handles let's say pause it right there and hold it for a while repeat the same for the opposite leg and still you should be able to feel that nice good stretch in your hip area as well as your love handle area those muscles should be nicely stretched relax good job Good job and let's go ahead and drop down into a spider squat I call it and this should be able to give you a good nice stretch in your lower thighs just hold it there and make sure that you get yourself a good nice stretch right there you should be feeling a little bit of a tension there not too much to hurt you that's why I'm saying always listen to your body, guys. Yes, you've done a good job up to now. Relax. Get back up slowly. And now we're going to go ahead and do some toe stretches. This is going to stretch your toes as well as your ankles. Keeping a straight back, of course. And this exercise is also good for, for your calf muscles so you're stretching out your toes you're stretching your ankles and your calves as well and your back is being engaged as well depending on how much you push that foot the one which with a bended knee both legs are benefiting at the same time now we're gonna go ahead and do some slow motion runs it's more like a running man in slow motion this looks simple but it's uh, some good exercise if you're giving some good presses depending on how much you're pressing in your toes you will feel some good good stretch in your calf muscles go ahead you're doing good relax a bit stretch out your back and let's go ahead and slow motion running man you're doing good great job you're doing really great great job guys I'm enjoying myself as well go ahead and relax always listen to your body and know when you should stop now go ahead and drop down again this a 180 but it's not a 180 <laughs> because I'm not that flexible enough if you're, if you're that flexible enough you can put your legs in that, into that 180 so just go right ahead and crawl front or move with your hands up front like as if you're crawling front wise this is gonna give you a very good stretch right there in your lower thighs as low as good as in your calf muscles as well 
be careful while you're doing this if you're not that flexible enough because it could pop a muscle so always listen to your body as well listen to your muscles every twitch every crack you should be paid attention to especially if you're a beginner stretcher you have to be careful that you don't pop a muscle let's go ahead and lie down on our mat again relax or rest up if you want to gonna go ahead and do some nice leg stretch or leg like a leg raise into a stretch stretch out your leg and depending on how flexible you are you can pull on your foot or on your ankle pull down as far as you can go that's how far I can go I'm a little bit stiff <laughs> I'm not that flexible but if you're flexible enough you can bring down that leg as low as you feel like or as low as it can go be careful not to hurt yourself You're gonna fold yourself into a butterfly you're gonna fold your legs into a butterfly and this is gonna give you a very good stretch in your thigh muscles both in and outer and after that you're just gonna hold your ankles and pull yourself up just as if you want to get up just hold it right there and this exercise is good for your spine as well just relax after always take breaks whenever you feel like and like, like I always say listen to your body always the next exercise we're just gonna fold your knee or your leg over the other and pull up your folded knee just get comfortable however you feel like make sure you're in a comfortable position just relax there as you pull down or you pull down on that folded knee this exercise is going to give you a very good stretch in the opposite knee the knee that is over your chest you should 
they have a very very good stretch right there then I repeat the same for the opposite foot or leg and the biggest stretch should come on the folded knee on the folded leg the outer thigh you should feel that push or that pull in those muscles Just hold it there for a while and relax. Good job. Now, next up, <laughs> you're gonna still fold your knees or your legs into a butterfly. Lift your butt up and sit on your butt bones or your your butt. <laughs> I don't know what I call them, but. Just make sure you're not sitting on as if you're sitting on a I don't know what I'm gonna call it but just make sure you're seated on your butt bones yeah and then just put your soles together just get comfortable mm -hmm. now pull up on your toes so to get that good nice stretch I'm just gonna turn the other side so that you can see from a different angle meanwhile maintain a very straight back and straight up posture as well just relax while you do some neck stretches the whole point of this stretch routine is to get you relaxed and flexible so do whatever you can to get the most out of it now change it a, a bit lift your butt up and open wide the butterfly wings and you can modify it by rocking back and forth As you enjoy yourself I'll turn the other angle so that you can see exactly what I mean just open up into a butterfly and rock back and front back and front and you should have lifted your butt up and with the support of your hands you're going to rock back and forward back and forward and when you're done, you can relax a little bit, stretch out your legs. Do some more simple stretches. Try to reach for your toes. I'll turn this angle so that you can see. Do some toe touches, stretch out your toes. This exercise is going to stretch your toes, it's going to stretch your arms, it's going to stretch your back, it's going to stretch your thigh muscles as well. So this is more like a full body stretch. Whenever you feel something strange, you can stop and repeat the exercise. Do not overwork your muscles. If you don't trust something or some sounds, you feel some cracking, you better stop right there until you trust it to repeat. Now you're gonna pull down on your on your toe or on your soles. Stretch out a bit before you repeat it. Let's repeat that again. Just hold on to your toes and pull up as if you're pulling your upper body down as well as pulling down on your toes as well you should feel that good nice stretch in your calf muscles in your thigh muscles in your back in your hands as well triceps and biceps as well good job you're doing very well you're doing good now go ahead and fold your right leg Depending on which side you want to begin 
and then drop on that folded leg or knee all the way down making sure you give yourself a very good stretch in your back but maintain a very straight back if you're very flexible more than me then your straight leg should really be more stretched than mine is going to repeat the same for the opposite leg you can rest your head or your forehead on your hands however you like or on your, sh on your knee as well all you do try to be as comfortable as you can get Feel a very good stretch in that part of the thigh, the lower thigh muscles. Great! Next up, you're going to get down into that launch position. Folded knee should be should not pass your toes. Let's say give yourself a very good stretch and just hold there. You should feel a very nice tight stretch in that thigh muscle. Just hold it there and enjoy yourself. Great job, great job guys. Feeling that nice stretch? Yeah, baby, I'm feeling it. Now let's repeat. Stretch out the, the knee that was folded as if you want to sit back but make sure you're not sitting you're just stretching out that other right leg this should give you as well a very good stretch in that inner thigh and of course it's gonna stretch your ankles Play around with your toes. Every part of your body needs to be stretched or worked. Now we're going to repeat the same for the opposite leg. Get down onto that launch position, making sure that the straight out, straightened out leg is really straight and tight. Just hold that launch position and Go with it as you enjoy yourself. Feel that nice stretch. Finish it up by stretching out that leg. If you're feeling failing to maintain balance, get a support by holding onto a wall. Good job, you're doing well. You're doing really good. Great job.
now we're gonna go into a cool down routine just some more stretch and bow to cool down get onto your fours and just do some Breathe in as you tighten your abdominals and breathe out as you relax them. Breathe in, tighten your muscles in your stomach and relax, breathe out. ahead and relax into a child position or just stretch out your hands and just hold that child pose just hold that child pose position for a while as you relax think of all the goodness you're gonna benefit out of this exercise you're gonna be refreshed you're gonna feel burst of energy you're gonna be less stressed. Just relax. Stretch out your shoulders, stretch out your neck. Release some tensions in your shoulders. Just go with the flow. Stretch back into child pose position and hold it there. body weight while you stretch out your hands forward and try to stand on your toes this exercise is good for your toes your ankles as well as your hands the weight should be on your hands and your toes good job relax massage your hands as well stretch out your calves as you relax Get comfortable, take your time, now we're going to do some mountain climber stretch, making sure that you get a very good stretch in that folded knee, 
repeat the same for the opposite leg as you do that mountain climber stretch. Hold it for as long as you can before you release. Walk it out. Get back up slowly. And you're done. Good job. This workout is complete. I hope you enjoyed it as I did. And I'm feeling refreshed. And I hope to see you in another workout. From me to you, bye-bye for today. Stay safe and stay fit. Bye.